see how they handle. Why's coming behind us? Yeah, right now. He's in this fucking room. Saints. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Anvil gameplay and today we are going to be talking about crossplay. It was secretly enabled. Let's head over and talk about it. So this is a post on, of course, guess what? The Reddit page. Yes, because we have no other way to distribute information other than the Reddit page. This was a post by Radar. This was two days ago. So this is what he had to say about it. Rogue Company Crossplay. Hey, Rogues. It's been a pretty busy week for the team with our launch from beta, chasing down balance gameplay concerns, and reading all of your feedback from various channels. We appreciate every bit of your patience and your thoughts, which are being circulated to the team for review. Some of you have reported seeing PC players in your console game and vice versa after the update. Last month, in our statement, we committed to holding our crossplay feature until we did some additional anti-cheat work and would communicate with you before its release. This was a commitment to quality and to you, our community, that we took seriously. Late last week, after an extensive amount of review from the team, I determined our anti-cheat initiatives, which include easy anti-cheat, were in a vastly improved state and represented where we stood prior to May. I informed the game team of this success, and it was determined our July update would be the moment when we turned on crossplay. Due to a miscommunication, this feature was turned on early and released this week as part of our update, which some of you have pointed out. We are actively reviewing processes that can prevent incidents like this in the future. We strongly believe this system is working and providing better matchmaking opportunities for everyone, although we are very interested in your feedback. This does not excuse us from our commitment to communicate this change in advance, and we apologize for breaking that promise. While it's always our intention to make this available as soon as possible, our goal was to make everyone aware to avoid any unnecessary confusion. Thank you for your continued patience and understanding. So they accidentally enabled crossplay, which is like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, crossplay is one of those, like, forced crossplay is one of those things that, like, Love it, hate it. It's something that inevitably needs to come to the game in order to make the game perform better, to get you in better matches, and to feel like a well-balanced game is actually taking place. It absolutely needs to happen, especially when you have, I would say, 80 to 90% of the player base that is actively playing on a PlayStation console, and then the rest of it is split between PC and Xbox. That's how it feels to me. I don't know if those numbers are accurate, but that's just my experience with the game so far. So crossplay, in my opinion, Opinion is something that absolutely needs to happen. Forced crossplay is something that needs to be there. They originally delayed forced crossplay because of because of the community's concerns with people cheating. And I already made a video basically voicing my opinions on the fact that anybody can have access to cheats regardless of input method, regardless of what they're playing on, whether it be console or PC. What frustrates me here to no end is the fact that they didn't communicate this information. And I understand it was a mistake. It wasn't something that was supposed to be put into the game until the July update. But it's inevitably breaking the game because everybody that I've talked to that specifically plays on console has said that they're having to wait for 15 to 20 minutes to actually get into any match, whether that be 6v6, whether that be strikeout, ranked, demolition, it doesn't matter. It's been taking them 15, 20 minutes to actually get into a game. So somewhere along the way, they incorporated the crossplay functionality and then 
they didn't either finish it or something happened with the code that is actually not allowing people to get into matches at this point. Because if I queue for something for 15 minutes to 20 minutes and I'm not getting into a match, I'm not playing your game. I'm moving on to something else. I'm going to play anything else that I don't have to wait 15 to 20 minutes to actually find a match for. That's just me. That's just my experience with it. That's that's what I would do. If I was in the same situation, that's what I would do. I have not experienced that. It normally takes me about no longer than two minutes to find a match. Even playing ranked, it only takes about two two to three minutes to actually find a match. Most of the times it finds, it finds us a match in less than a minute. We're, bam, we're in, we're playing, we're rolling. Whether it be the same team that we just played, whether it be a completely new team, it doesn't matter. It is just injecting us into match after match after match after match. And that sucks for people that are having to wait that long. And it also sucks for the developers because like, hey, people are leaving your game and they're going to play something else because they can't get into a match. This wasn't properly communicated. And I know that it was a um, that it was a mistake to put this into the game. I get that. But I don't feel myself that Reddit is the right page to actively put this information I know that they have other outlets. I know that they have other places that they can put this information, whether it be a link to the Reddit page, whether it be a twit long. Like they should have communicated this information with everybody because I'm streaming on Thursday. I have people coming into the game and they're complaining about the forced crossplay stuff. I haven't seen this article. I haven't heard anything about this. And I can't comment on anything other than. I play crossplay all the time anyway, pretty much with with my friends. So it hasn't changed anything for me. So I'm not seeing anything unusual because I'm already doing it. You know what I mean? And then after the stream, I pull up the Reddit page, and lo and behold, just a few hours ago, Radar posted something on here about the Rogue Company crossplay, and it was pinned up there for about I don't know 24 hours at the most, maybe, and then they unpinned it and they put something else up there. So. They have a huge problem with communication, not only within the company, but also to the community. And it is, it is getting beyond frustrating to deal with them. There needs to be one place, one, one information gathering area that they can communicate everything from and then disperse that information from their social media accounts and the Reddit page. They have a website. They have a blog. They need to put all of this information on the website, on the blog, and then they need to just copy the link to it and then retweet it and post it on the Facebook page and post it over on Reddit and post it everywhere that they actually have a social media account so that all of these people can find out exactly what's going on with everything. I don't get it. We talked about the same thing. I think it was last week about their 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 lack of communication and and burying things in one place. If I had not went on the Reddit page after I got through streaming uh, on Thursday night, then I would have never saw this because it was unpinned within 24 hours, and now it's just lost in the sauce, man. It's somewhere over on Reddit. It's mixed in with everything else. It's just like it's in that minefield, and just good luck finding it. I don't know what they're doing, but this is not how a game that is full release responds to people, addresses things, and communicates with people. It's just not. This is not how a full release game conducts themselves publicly in order to get you know the best that they can out of themselves out of their game and out of the community it's just not this is some amateur alpha shit right here this is basically what that is some amateur alpha shit so let me know what you think in the comments down below did you know anything about this reddit post did you know anything about force crossplay being introduced in the daybreak update be sure to let me know also be sure to check the description for links to facebook discord and twitter those are the places to contact me and if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button down below and become one of the 256 crew members. And then also on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. and Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Right there. Literally right there, they're reviving. No! God damn, the Lancer's in here. I'm dead. Lancer's on him.
been wiped out. Like, that's some cheesy shit. Yeah, they like me. They're... Deploying utility. Yeah, they're over here. Okay. He has another one pushing him. I'm trying to give him a little backup. Yeah, she's fucking making her way over here. Shit, you think about this bitch, you can't hear her. Block this window off. We're over here. Yep. Warehouse. Oh. Why's moving into the room? She's one shot. Lock it in, we lock it in, gentlemen. Yeah, right. The fucking blaster. That thing down running just with the hit. Yeah, it's fucking nuts, right? Like unnecessarily nuts. Yeah. It's nuts and futs. I'm sure they'll take it away. <laughs> 